Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this has been your true dead, and welcome back to Fallout 76, where you join me here on the summit of John Penny Tower, which I've just added some slightly out of place inconvenient stairs to, purely to, you know, make sure I can get up to the top floor here. You know, just so I can be on the roof, and I've put some extra lights on the roof, and just some extra lights on the front. Weirdly, um, yeah, these buildings just seem to... Ow, I just broke my legs. These buildings just seem to come with free power. Because I basically just slapped a nice little sign right there. And it seems to work, even though there's no generator. Possibly the camp itself is deemed to produce, like, a very base level of electricity. So while you can't actually run things that require power, you are allowed to run things that just require the presence of power. Like basic lamps and what have you. So, yeah. This thing's now nicely lit up. Just, you know, help draw attention to itself. Because... If anyone does pass by, they're more than welcome to use this thing. Anyway, let's crack on today, shall we? Because is that the flipping giant teapot? Am I actually fairly close to the... I am fairly close to the giant teapot right now. The giant teapot is... Excuse me. Excuse flipping me. Who is actually shooting in this direction right now? I hear you super mutants. This is the first time I've actually run into a super mutant. Hello. Where are you bastards? Ah, there's one. Level five. Nothing major. Oh, look at that. This is the effect of flipping level 3 of Concentrated Fire. That went up from 24 to 48% chance to hit when I was going for the headshot. Now that, that's fun. And by the way, of course, Super Mutants, you want to be killing them for infinite short hunting rifles. That looks quite nice. Like, if you approach this building from that angle, just those lamps upon the roof... Okay, you may scoff down in the comments last time. With these improvements, it's actually just got a little bit of light on the top. That actually looks quite nice. I'm actually quite proud of this. Just for you know, baby's first little settlement. Not that bad at all, actually. Now, what I really want to be doing is actually heading straight down south. Because, or rather, maybe this sort of a direction. I'd like to actually, yeah, swing by this here ranger station. In fact, I want to swing by the ranger station over here. That's certainly an interesting idea. And once I've swung past there, yeah, at that point I can swing south and start clearing out the rest of the coast. Because I want to go and visit the Nuka Factory today. The Nuka Factory seems like a good idea. John, you're running in completely the wrong direction. And also now someone is shooting at me. Hello, who's that? Just a scorched, is it? Well, that's not really much of a threat. To be perfectly honest, no. This very conveniently brings me to a shack that I was a little bit suspicious of last time because uh, I have heard stories of the free states, preppers, isolationists, who were, yeah, accused of uh, stealing some stuff. They were prepared for the apocalypse, so how they died might be a little bit on the interesting side because, no, do not shoot the kitty. Hello there. Oh, hang on. Multiple kitties. Okay, way too many kitties. That's a- Oh, that's Tabby! That's actually distinct Tabby cat variety! Oh my goodness, there's actually distinct cat varieties. Now, yeah, by any chance, are any of these free stator lots around up here? Because I feel like, yeah, the actual, the little kind of tower symbol, that presumably is uh, the ranger station where there's like a fire watch tower or whatever. What is this up here? No, actually this is bigger than I was expecting. Camp Adams. And a vicious mongrel. Oh, hang on. This is an excellent time for me to check something. Criticals. Are they guaranteed hits these days? Critical. Well, that did just hit. Which does make me think that that might be the case. Yes. And by the way, you're dogs now, so I'm not going to waste the ammo on you. At this point, I'm just going to run in and batter you with a big stick. Now, where was your leader? No, that was a mole rat. Hang on, where was the one I just knackered? Well, I don't know, but pocketed leather armor chest, probably, unfortunately, locked behind, you know, some form of armor or perk, but you can't be sure. And scout book fundraisers. Okay, fundraisers and fundraising. Where possible, fundraisers and fundraising should involve the community in some way. Bake sales, running competitions... Okay, what exactly is this all about? And scouts are not allowed to sell pharmaceuticals, surplus commercial products, protection services, or to engage in criminal activity of any kind. Okay, not everyone was entirely getting the point and the ethos. Of Ooh, spices. Spices are probably good. Ooh, ranger hats. Okay, ah, wait, I've been here before. 
I know exactly where I am. I actually came here very briefly in West Virginia. Back then, it was super mutants, I believe, not actually dogs. Hello. What is this? Scout's Life. Scout's Life 10. Is this a unique thing of some description? Hang on, what have I just found here? Scout's Life 10. So if I were to actually... Oh! My homestead's about to come under attack. Fine! So I'm not going to go and defend my homestead on this occasion. I'm going to leave it. And I'm just going to see whether the defences take care of it by themselves. So if I now read this, if I just do this now... Is that now a permanent effect or not? It's fine, everything's under control. I will, however, nip up to the top of that there tower. And I want to try out my new scout hat as well. I'm going to really think I like the party hat. Yes. You know what? Let's just quickly put that away. I'm not convinced. I mean, I look more serious than I did with the party hat. That's certainly true. And this is a separate location as well. The lookout. Yeah, you see now this. This is more of a John Penny tower. Maybe, just maybe, I should have just repurposed one of the watchtowers. I mean, this is the sort of thing I want to actually build for myself. Which would be very, very cool at some point in the future. Probably can't pull that off just yet. Now, here we go. So, box, search. And did not get lucky with the 40% chance there. Take some more ammo. Take some more bits and pieces. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Oh, yes, and of course, hang on. Survey the area, of course. Because when you are up here, you can see what's going on. So, uh, the cow spots creamery. Know where that is. All the rest of that. Ooh, Charleston landfill. And the giant teapot. I know about that. Hello. Retrieve holotape from an air sensor. What have I just found here precisely? Nothing's actually been spat out because I assume there's nothing in there. I need to get like a blank holotape and this is part of some form of quest. Still, I've now got myself a whole bunch of stuff dotted around here. In fact, yeah, I can see everything. Lewis and Sons farming supplies, Ohio, ooh, Ohio River Adventures. And there's the Nuka-Cola plant right there. And beside an energy thing. Oh, environmental sensor is busy collecting data. Right. That's what it's doing, is it? There's the giant teapot. There's the creamery. There is all well orchards. Fine. So in that case, probably what I want to do at this point is, uh, yeah, head straight over in this sort of a direction. Just head over to the Ohio River Adventures. Oh, yeah, I know where that is. That's the hospital over there. And that's the power plant. Oh, I do like how I'm slowly learning the map. Just, you know, minute by minute, piece by piece. We're just slowly starting to put it all together. But I'm heading to that nuke factory. And I'm also curious what's going on back at my, uh, yeah, my actual base. I haven't been told I've lost it yet, but neither have I been told uh, that I won. So maybe if you don't go and you're not present, you don't get the reward. Which I guess is fair, otherwise people that just, you know, held low-level workshops would just basically get free XP forever. And looks like I've got my angle slightly wrong. I'm coming up on the little farm first. So, okay. One little farm, then over to the Ohio River... Wait, hang on. Ohio River Adventure? Ohio? We're not in Ohio. That's that's totally the wrong state. Are they even close to each other? I'm not sure I know where Ohio is on a map. That's a state, right? Yes? Yes, I'm moderately confident that's a state. And we got ourselves... Oh, I love Scorched. Scorched are my favourite. Right, Scorched, lads. Bring it on, if you'd be so kind. Help myself to a bunch of stuff here. Ooh, makeshift batteries. That is some free lead. Oh, oil canister. Oh, this is all the good loot here. Right, let's just go over to... What do I need for you guys? Long pipe revolver will do for you very, very nicely indeed. So, where are you gets? Hang on, I didn't want to try this out. This is the first... Okay, 74. 93. Oh, that is... That's pretty nice. And, hello... Someone else is around here somewhere. Actually, maybe not. Hello there. Yeah, 80, 95. There we go. Job done. And gets more powerful with every shot as well. Excuse me. You can just die, by the way. Just let me reload for a second. And then... Then you can die. Now, who else is around here? Oh, a couple of people are. So, you apparently have... Oh, I'm being a little bit swarmed. Oh, have you got an axe? Oh, I like the ones with the axe. The axe is quite useful. So, we'll just take you out. Oh, that's a pickaxe. Pickaxes are not as good. One shot to the head for you. Still in danger, but it seemed to be... Oh, maybe I'll just do a stim pack just in case. And that's just a pipe weapon. Fine. One more up here by the looks of it. Yeah, I thought you were up there. Oh, you're the boss as well. And you are dead. Right. Shotgun. Oh, shotguns. 
And golf clubs. That is a two-handed weapon. That might be useful. Bunch of 44 ammo too. Okay. Where's that there? If there's... Never mind. We are safe. That's cool. And that down there is power armor station. No power armor and hunting rifle. Good. Good, good, good. Well, this is exactly the right perfect moment for me to just loot this place dry, help myself to all of the stuff in the world, and break it all down. That power armor station, spot on. And that golf club is slow 32 compared to slow 35. So no, we don't need that. Get rid. And I think, rather conveniently, oh, the storm has passed. And in addition, it's dawn and it's very pretty. Pickaxe. Hang on. Give that a little look -see. Ooh, 40. 40 is better. Okay. And a pipe revolver too. Okay, yeah. I can deal with all of this. And pipe revolvers, I can deal with learning more about that as well. Right. Loot this place dry. This looks good, actually. This is good stuff. In fact, multiple pickaxes. Those things have totally just started spawning in. Which is good, because that means I might be able to learn something about them. So, pick the one that's in the best condition. It's the middle one. Start breaking you down, actually. This gives me wood. I need wood, desperately. So that is, yeah, 40 slow. Baseball bat. You've served me well. But you know what? You only weigh three. I will keep you. Weapons certainly weigh a lot less than they used to, by the way. The game is definitely a lot more generous in that regard. Yes, one... Pickaxe. Just flipping spot on. That just looks nasty. Nobody wants to have someone charge at them with a pickaxe. Especially not these guys who have just started. Hang on, have you just put down... That's 10 millimeters. Oh good, it's finally started happening. All of a sudden, everybody is just dropping 10 millimeters, which is marvelous because that means I can actually start improving my 10 millimeter. I like the 10 millimeter. It's a solid pistol if you can just get a couple of upgrades on it. And hello. Big old crowd of them over there. We'll just put a grenade in on top of them. That killed a few of you bastards. And... Okay, more pickaxes. I like more pickaxes, because more pickaxes means... Excuse me, would you mind not actually shooting me? That's very rude, Ach. Excuse me. Don't back off out the way. That's even more flipping rude. You guys all dead? Yes, but... I'm pretty sure some of you drop pickaxes. And pickaxes means I can just break down more pickaxes. And more pickaxes means I can slowly learn what makes a good pickaxe. And what were you guys all doing standing around? Oh, more shotguns too. Okay, this is what I needed. Now, ooh. Responder volunteer. Okay, company T. Appalachili. Volunteers needed. So there we go. The Responder Survivor Volunteer Program is now offering basic and advanced training for free. Ah, this is literally, you know, people trying to get out there and respond to Miguel. I wonder if he's listed on the terminal. He might be, you know. I don't know. You know, at some point, I either need to find a solution to get myself more purified water, or I need to actually get back on a main quest. Because the problem right now is, uh, yeah, I'm not actually gaining all the purified water you get for doing quests, because I'm not doing quests. I've just kind of wandered off on my own, because up to this point, I've basically been staying pretty close by to where the main plot is. So I thought, you know what? I'll just wander off and see what I find. But, yeah, the main quests do reward you with important, useful stuff. What happened to my settlement, by the way? What actually... Okay. Apparently it's fine. Okay, but I don't get the actual rewards for that, because I didn't bother to go and... Hello! I see you over there. You've got a crown. I'm going to whack you now. You survived that. Well done. I'll take the psycho though. So, the Ohio River Adventure. Waste acid. That's not exactly great. Silver locket. What was this place, if anything of note? Fiber optics bundle. I'll tell you what, I'll take that. Other than that business, not too much. And something I think has gone a bit wrong with the depth of field. Because everything's just a little bit too blurry right now. Hang on. Right, one quick restart later. And now, thanks to the magic of the camp, John Penny Tower is just sitting right here in the middle of the road. Very convenient. Do all the scrapping I need there. Marvellous. In fact, actually, what I've just done is I've uh, dumped a huge pile of junk into the stash box. Because there's no real need for me to carry it around. Because if I ever need to do any significant forms of crafting, I can just basically, you know, 
bring the base to me, and then just start grabbing it out of there. So that's all absolutely fine. It's perfectly safe here, because stash boxes are unique to each player. So, uh, yeah, no problem in the slightest. And that means I can head down the road over here towards the Nuka plant. And hello, are you guys back already? Spoiler warning, they did not enjoy running into my pickaxe. Now, I'm not the sort of person that likes to make presumptions without knowing for sure, but I'm at least 80% confident that I've just found the Nuka plant. Yes. So, let's see what the deal with this place is and which creature's got its own fun Nuka variant in this game. All right, now we've just got ourselves ghouls. Hell, excuse me, don't you hide from me. Thank you. Oh, you just actually took a pickaxe. Well done. Yeah, okay. We got ourselves a nuke plant here. Just a handful of ghouls. See what's inside. I will be very disappointed if there is, you know, a quantum variant of something or another. Here we go. I found a long staircase at the back that's brought me up towards the roof. Still no way in, though. I mean, this place has got to have an interior, right? It couldn't possibly not. Well, we've got ourselves a hatch at the top, but that requires master lock picking to get in. Okay, I assume I'm missing a very obvious front door of some description. There's gotta be around here somewhere. Here we go, this one will do the job. Requires lockpick one, well I've got that. Well, that's inside a bit, but only to a little restroom, unfortunately. Nothing huge yet. Well, I've got something here. I've dropped down from the roof. And that's brought me to a way in somewhere. And... Amazingly, this area is not behind a load zone. So many big buildings in Fallout 4 would totally have been behind a load zone. Not so here, but then again, this is just... Ah, never mind. Load zones. But this here loading bay found a way in. All right, what are you hiding? All right, hidden for now. Well, nothing too much for the minute. Still just low-level ghouls. But this is, you know... The Nuka plant. There's gonna be something more here. And by the way, I am quite liking having, you know, invested in perception and just being able to sneak attack critical everything with that. That, that I quite approve of actually, yes. That's quite fun. Don't worry about the server shutdown, by the way. I think actually what we'll probably do is, yeah, we'll actually just, you know, continue in the next beta session. The end of this session will not be the end of this video. Don't you worry. Well, one of those ghouls just dropped one of those request government airdrop things, which is potentially of use. And I think I've actually still got the one I picked up in uh, Flatwoods, because there's one in the bar, the responder headquarters right there. So, yeah, I can actually call down a couple of government drops, which are... Oh, blimey. That's a big old bottle of Nuka cola That's cool. I approve of that. 84%. Now 95%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm actually pretty happy with the VATS build. The VATS build's pretty darn strong. Ooh, hang on. We've got taste testing to do. Right, are there any ghouls planning to come and murder me anytime soon? No, I don't think they know where I am. Okay, taste test. I would like to do taste testing. That's free flipping Nuka. Release of liability. I'm guessing, yes. I probably decide to give up all of my rights, I'm assuming. Yes, definitely. Sadly, though, it would appear that all of this was actually being done by humans, so I cannot find out what they were actually drinking, aside from the feedback form. Intensity 6, mouthfeel 2, acidity 5, additional comments. Is it normal for your teeth to itch after drinking this beverage? Do you have a toothpick or a drill or something? Excellent, excellent. That one was sadly blank. No one actually filled that one out. Oh, hang on. Is that actually Nuka Cherry? Nuka Cherries are valuable. And what feedback did we have here? I gazed upon the face of Almighty God and bathed in his infinite glory. I share a oneness with all living things. This must be shared with the world. Okay, by any chance was that quantum you gave him? Because he seemed to be pretty bloody fond of it, yes. Right, ladies and gentlemen, and now through the magic of editing, this will be mere seconds for you, but I think a couple of days for me if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, indeed. About two days, give or take. So, hello there. Welcome back. For you, I'm sure that passed in the blink of an eye. And something very interesting. So, new finding. 
it would appear that the actual US government supplied requisition holotapes are in fixed locations, even when they're just found on enemies. Because I picked up one of those before, and this guy had another one on him right here. So this feral ghoul in the nuclear plant, he just has that on him 100% of the time. Also, I missed a couple of quantums last time. That's definitely not something to miss. Quantums are great. Hello, by the way. You're about to die now. Ah, I quite like this gun. It's a good gun. Fun fact, by the way, I've found more than a little bit of nuclear waste around here. Suggesting, of course, as we already know, Quantum might be a little bit more radioactive than the nuclear coda company would technically like to admit in court. Just re-killing all those ghouls, because fresh session means new ghouls, gets me, ooh, one brain fungus. More importantly, level 8. Now, level 8 is a very important level because... Uh, perk card pack. Right, let's see what we've got here today. So, ah, that luck perk. Iron fist, hard bargain, shiny green thumb. That's a disappointing pack, I'll be honest, yes. But did you hear about the unsharpened spear? It was pointless. Okay, that's not so bad. I mean, it's still pretty bad, but there have been worse ones. It is actually a joke, yes. Now, at level 8, there'll also probably be a bunch of other stuff shown up here. Ah, yes, dead man sprinting. So sprint 10% faster at increased AP cost below 40% health. No, just don't enjoy that one. That one's not very interesting. What else have we got that's showing up that's new? If anything, of note. Good doggy. Yeah, so eating dog food three times as beneficial. Rifleman makes an appearance. That's of interest. There's also pack rats. I've already got one of those. Okay, and Iron Fist, I've got two of those. I could just keep going with Slugger. But I am actually enjoying pistols right now. I am enjoying pistols already. So, I wouldn't mind taking a rank of, well, Gunslinger or Gun Runner. Now, it's not easy to boost your movement speed in this game. Not many things boost your movement speed. Being able to, yeah, actually have 10% up, up to presumably... Hang on, no, no, show me that. Yeah, 20% increased movement speed. That is tough. And right now... Yeah, I'll need the agility. I'll take the agility, whatever happens. It's gonna be one of those two. Let's just take the damage, because I'm already getting more action points. Every rank of this gets me more action points. 10% right now. Maybe I'll take the gun runner next time. Because gunslinger next time is only an extra 5%. 10% is the first one. It's a nice bonus. So, yeah. We'll have that for the time being. Anything else I want to swap in or out? Uh, not for the time being, I don't think. I could actually have... Well, there's no point actually upgrading Iron Fist, to be honest. Because then I just wouldn't be able to have it equipped at all. Though, it's not like it's doing me any good. And I still haven't got a single... Endurance card. I've not drawn a single endurance card, which is fine because endurance is total flipping garbage, but it would still be nice to have something in that slot, yes. But then again, I'm going to take out Happy Camper. I'll put in Hard Bargain. That is better. I do like occasionally buying and selling to the robots. Lovely. And in this chest right here, by the way, double grenade, bobby pin, and a strengthened welded raider right arm. Could be of interest. Yeah, right now I've got three and five on that. So that's going to be much better in terms of damage resistance, less good in terms of energy. Honestly, you barely run into that many robots. I will switch over and break the old one down. Right, nothing down on the ground floor by the looks of things. A reappearance from good old Bottle here. No Cappy though, which is a bit of a shame. The fact that Cappy doesn't appear to be represented. Oh, hang on. There's Cappy being... Oh, that's weird. Okay, I mean, I'm fine when they're standing next to each other. But like... Cappy literally being fitted on top of Bottle's head. That looks... That looks weird. It either looks very violent or very sexual. I'm not sure which. And I'm also not sure which of those things would be worse. Now here's something a bit interesting. Side room here would appear to be... The lab. Where presumably, yes, more nuclear waste dots around. This is... Ooh, safe. But terminal. Current product status needs to be hacked into. And a locked door within the lab. Here we go, four products, all with names, code names, uh, and new safe for me, lovely. Now, Project Sea Lion, so product code name, wait, that just, Walrus, Sea Lion, Walrus, okay, fine. So, Walrus was apparently quantum, and replace one isotope with another, over to Walrus, which is also Walrus. Okay, I may have just found a typo in the game there, because surely that's supposed to say Sea Lion. Sea Lion was Quantum. Warus was Nuka-Cola Black. First Seal, Nuka-Cola Orange. So use pear brandies of flavour base. 
Alright, so they were just, I don't know, cutting corners? And there's new cola quartz. Fine. Try adding non-soluble sugar flakes to stimulate quartz and see if that counteracts the cavitation issues. Cavitation. That's a good word. Also, I'll be having this safe thank you. And ooh, more better quality armor. Flippin' love it. Yeah, there we go. Much more protection. Now, why is there a locked door at the back of your lab? Right, prepare to murder. Hello, yes, I thought I saw you over there. That's absolutely fine. Now, what is going on in... Oh. Ah! This is the backstage area of the testing lab. Gotcha. So, you presumably were the person who once upon a time would hand the nuker over to these people to get their reactions. Though, sadly, I can't see what was being given to uh, this particular person. No, it wasn't that person. It was... Ooh, no. Those are just cups. Boo. Still, that's probably some plastic there at the bare minimum. And hello. Only the nuker cola locker key can open this locker. Right. There's a unique key somewhere. I need to go find myself a unique key to access, potentially, a new, awesome, unique nuke variant. Right, well, ooh. There's also a safe here. Now, by any chance, is the key inside a safe that also needs a key to open it? Oh, hang on. Hello! A luck bobble head. I'll be taking that, thank you. Just a reminder, those things are now consumable, so use that, and then for a certain period of real-world time, my luck will be up. Lovely. And another... Quantum. I'll gladly take myself a quantum, together with toxic waste, sugar, and industrial oil. Spot on. Though actually, there's a metal box here that also needs to be opened. Come on, give me a key. No key, but a note. Alexis, I hope you can forgive me for this. I know we've had our differences over the years about methodology and R&D. We've always agreed marketing is an evil force in Nuka. I can't let them experiment on innocent bystanders, so I've taken the arsenic and mercury and strontium-90 and all the rest of it, and gone home to Sutton. Hope you understand, Clara. Okay, just to stand up for the marketing team here, marketing would not be the people making the decision to, one, put arsenic or mercury into the nuka cola, or two, once it was in there, test it. That is not marketing. Most definitely not, but it sounds like there's one hell of an interesting cache of materials in Sutton. Fascinating. And... No key. Right. So, I've checked the safes and all the boxes I can open. Where exactly, in theory, would a key be hidden? Well, potentially, Clara took the key too, together with the actual stuff she stole. So it could all be in Sutton. There is one thing I most definitely want to check out in that part of the world too. Right, quick fast travel back to John Penny Tower here, because I've just got myself a hell of a lot of potentially very, very useful supplies here. So let's just crack open the door, hop on in, grab the actual supplies that I've already got stashed inside my... Inside my... There we go. Yep, I'll just be taking absolutely all of this. Can I take all of it? Surely there's got to be a way to take all. In fact, actually, important test here. If I store... 100% of my junk inside this here stash box. One, does it help out with the mole rat infestation? Because I'm not sure it flipping... Guys, seriously, chill the hell out. Get get away from my house. Guys, naff off. Ooh, here's fun. I just found a frog. Hello. No, no, no I want to see the frog. This is the first time I've seen a frog. This is right down by the water. Hello. Hey there, little buddy. Ooh, you're electric. Okay, and you carry, you carry uranium ore on you. Right, well, frogs, as it turns out, are potentially quite... Okay, you can just go away, please. All of you can just go away. Okay, so if you see a frog, kill it. Because uranium ore times two off a random frog, and frog leg times... Sorry, frog leg times, times four? Four? Are you sure? How many... How many legs is... Oh, I guess it does actually have a couple at the front. Yeah, I was just being very efficient there. I just took all the legs. Yes, I was hoping it might work this way. So, if you're inside your camp, anything that's inside the stash box inside your house basically counts as being on you. So I don't actually need to bother having it on my person to make any changes. Perfect. And this is very, very important indeed because, yeah, I'm going to give myself a proper reflex sight from a tactical pipe revolver, which has done very well for itself so far. 
And apparently, I know how to actually make a... Oh, a sharp pickaxe. Wait, that's... Is that a pickaxe anymore? I feel like that's just an axe. I mean, technically, I suppose there's a pick on the back. But still, that is marvellously good news. 46 damage slow. Yes. And it causes bleed damage. Oh, oh, this thing is sexy. Now, the hunting rifle could also do with some improvements too. Do I want a scope? No, I think I'd actually be happier with a reflex sight. I'll go for reflex sight circle, please. Thank you. And I'll also just actually slap on true receiver just boost hip fire accuracy. I'd probably rather just go over to, yeah, long barrel, which again, weighs less despite clearly being longer, but whatever. Ah, yes, yeah, so and my new shotgun. Can I do anything with you yet? A little bit. Yes, okay, weight up to 8.4. Would massively increase range if I make that a long barrel, though. And improved range and recoil. Probably just a, yeah, long barrel. Long barrel is fine. Nice long barrel there. Don't seem to know anything else. Can't do anything with the receiver. Yeah, I just need to get hold of some more shotguns. Find some shotguns, break them down. Right now, I don't know enough. And I can make my pistol, yeah, 10mm. Slightly longer range as well. Got myself a true grip. Superior hip fire accuracy. Forceful grip with gunsmith 2. Okay, bash, recoil, I can do without that, to be honest. And, ooh, yeah, reflex sight there as well. Basically, every gun that can have a reflex sight is allowed a reflex sight, because reflex sights are beautiful. Apart from the pickaxe, we can probably do without a reflex sight on that. And I'm going to be honest, baseball bats, it just feels like, yeah, as that actually requires flipping makeshift warrior 2 just to get up to 40, it's time for you to go. That's three wood scraps right there. Goodbye, my love. Okay, now... Oh, obviously. Now that I've broken it down, I know how to attach heated rockets to it. Yeah, whatever, game. Also, I was about to complain that the game was bugging out because it was raining inside. Then I remembered, no, I just forgot to put a roof on this place. Oh, but the best thing in the world has happened. I got the plans for a pocketed chest piece. And it's allowed... Oh my goodness, I've actually got a pocketed bit of gear. Oh, I'm so happy. Right, time to go north. Mentions of Sutton. And I think I want to go to Sutton anyway, because if I recall correctly, that's where the next Overseer tape I haven't actually seen is. And that would actually bring me back in the direction of Flatwoods, which I want to visit for one very special reason. Also, oh my goodness, it looks like, yeah, there's a bunch of people for whom this is going to be there. They're at your first moment here, a bunch of level twos. In fact, yeah, by odd coincidence, I just seem to have spawned into what's, uh, yeah, quite a low level session. I'm actually one of the mighty, mighty supermen of this particular world. Great. Here we go, Sutton, very close by to Flatwoods, where there's also an event going on right now. So go on, I'm willing to go and assist with that. Ah, it would appear the Mr. Handys have gone a bit on the nuts side as usual. You see, before we head over to Sutton, there's something I want to do, because I have not seen a single cryptid. I didn't see one in West Virginia. Some people did. Some people saw the Mothman, and I have walked past that bloody sign saying Flatwoods, home of the Flatwoods monster, several times at this point. I have never seen this monster. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going on a monster hunt, because the game rather interestingly gives you, well, it doesn't give you directions, but there's a rather fun little hint about where we might want to begin our hunt. Because there are a series of basically like little Twilight Zone style radio plays called Who Goes There? Our tale begins on a fateful night when a young pioneer scout, Fred Fisher, finds himself in quite the predicament, having taken a spill and fallen into a dark place. Dog dared me to go look, so I did. All by yourself? 
you're really brave. Shucks. Thanks. I followed the noises to an entrance of an old mine. It smelled awful there, like rotten eggs, but worse. Suddenly, there was this bright light shining down on me. I was super scared and ran to the mine to hide, but everything felt strange. Like, my feet weren't even touching the ground. Everything went black, and I woke up here in the dark. That'll happen to me, too. We'll just do it like God says. When you've strayed or lost your foot, do it best and stay put. They said they'd bring him soon. There are other people here? A very good question indeed. Tune in next time to find out the answer in the chilling conclusion of Who Goes There? The Strange Encounter in Flatwoods. So... What we appear to have here is, well, a rather fun little variant of quest, which is, we haven't got a quest marker, there's no quest whatsoever, but that did just give us some rather specific instructions, didn't it? A lake near Flatwoods, a campsite, and a mine nearby with a hole that the kid fell through. So, the question now as far as I'm concerned is, potentially, is there going to be a place that we can find that matches that description that might just lead us to the Flatwoods monster? Still, while I'm passing by, the Fertile Soil event appears to have cracked off, so I may as well go and help out with that. Because yeah, skipping up to the roof, we can just get inside and handle this nice and easy. I assume it's gotta be... this terminal right here, right? And no. Well, it's not saying it is. Eight meters and down. Okay, excuse me. Hello. Right, we'll just take you out and take you out now. Aha. Stairs down. Fine, the stairs lead down into the basement. And I can just very quickly finish you off. Thank you. One system over here. Where'd that guy go? I don't know where that guy's gone, but I'll just quickly do this because I'm a big damn hero. So, there we go. Change targeting parameter. Remove human class. And I think I'm being I'm being hit right now. Excuse me. I'm busy saving everybody. Yeah, good luck killing me. Good flipping luck. I've just come back here to help out the people who are brand new. So there we go. Purified water. Sturdy leather chests. Yeah, I didn't realise this place had a basement, including fire caps, which don't normally grow in this part of the world, but nice to grab them, I suppose. And there's also terminal over here. Hang on. Compost depot terminal. So what do we need to do here? Biological harvest. Mole rats 11. Rad scorpion 1. Rad stags 3. So basically these robots, the reason they're occasionally a bit screwy is the crops must grow. And they will get the materials they need to make the crops grow even if it involves harvesting from people. I'm guessing. Gotcha. Now, back to the cryptid huts. So, if what I'm looking for right now is a nearby lake, where nearby is there a lake? Because there's a whole bunch of rivers, but I wouldn't describe any of this as a lake with the exception of this area. Now, this area around here that's actually close by to the back of the Capitol building where I went to in the Xbox version. I mean, a lake near Flatwoods, it's got to be that. Because this is definitely a river, and I've been to this bit of the world, that's definitely not a lake, it's still very much rivery. Yeah, this has got to be it. This has got to be the area I'm looking for. There's something here. Let's just head over towards this, whatever this is. Is that like a... Oh, please tell me that's mini golf. Could that be mini golf? That might be mini golf. Oh, flip, I'm going to mini golf right the hell now. Ah, no, it's this little resort that's up by the bridge that I've actually run into previously. I came here on the Xbox. If I recall correctly, nothing of note, to be honest, just random generic loot. Though, on this occasion, would appear to be the home of Myalurk. So yeah, the enemy distribution has certainly got a bit of variety to it. You're still here, though. I remember you from last time. Screw you. Yep, definitely some Myalurks around here, mind. I'll just quickly do a couple of shots for you, bastard. Yeah, that's right. No idea where I am. Well, that's just the way I like it. Over here. Over here. Up you pop. Come on. Let's take care of you. Let's flip and have you, actually. Yes. There we go. Spot on. 
I'll be having the meat off you. Cooked my like meat. Not so bad. And here's something you don't see every day. Raiders. Together with, give it a search. And found myself... Oh, okay. That just got me an extra 15.45. That's one rank of scrounger there. The new manual searching action. Okay, so that's not always useless. The last thing I got out of that was, yeah, nothing but 3.8. So... That's actually a decent little addition we just picked up there. Very nice. Now, I was going to head straight onto the lake at this point, but I can't help but notice that on the map, we got ourselves the military symbol and what looks like proper military encampment over here. So, okay. I'm willing to go give that a little luxe because if there's one place I'm going to get guns, it's going to potentially be the armory of a military camp. Yes, and... Okay, seriously, stop it, Bethesda Physics. I'm fine. I'm not being attacked. Where am I exactly? Oh, start your training at Camp McClintock. Okay, I've stumbled across some form of actual training here. And I've stumbled across an overseer log too. Sorry, I've just come across a log out of order by the looks of things. Okay, question is, oh... Level 22 gutsy, but friendly. Hello there. Roll-coded Christmas. What are you doing here, cadet? Get your tail up to the master sergeant now. Oh, flip. I could actually try and join the army. They're going to have little quests for me. Oh, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Obviously, I'm going to actually ransack the place and... Ooh, graduation ceremony. Hello. What have we got here? Camp McClintock has been training U.S. soldiers. U.S. Army soldiers for five glorious years. You, class, are the last graduates taught by honest-to-goodness human drill sergeants. Go out there and show them that the old ways are the good ways. I want you to... If I may interject, sergeant, that'll be all. Thank you, thank you. I want to say, as your governor, I am enormously proud of all of Appalachia's sons and daughters today that are graduating. And I want to say the future of Appalachia is going to be even brighter as we bring in a new age of automation to train new soldiers for the fronts faster and more efficiently. But today and tonight is yours to celebrate. Thank you. Okay, so Governor Evans, we've heard about him before. He went missing. We don't know his fate yet, but we do know from my time in the Xbox version. Yeah, he went missing the day the bombs fell. No one was sure whether he was dead or alive, and no one seemed to think desperately highly of him, to be honest. Okay, I'm happy to just ransack this place, but... I think special there is an upstairs somewhere, but go on then. Let's get this... Ah, this isn't starting the training. This here... It's the overseer's log, so I'll take myself... Okay, she left a lot of dog food for me. I'm starting to feel offended by that. Ammo, large water purifier, nice. And an overseer's log. Cool. Overseer's log. Camp McClintock. Whew. Maybe I'm going crazy, but it was nice to put on the uniform and play pretend with a bunch of robot drill sergeants. I actually think I learned a thing or two about marksmanship. I wonder, now that I'm in the army, is my official title Overseer Private or Private Overseer? <laughs> oh, time to see if I can fool a few automated identification systems. Ah, so potentially there's some unique perks to be got out of this, and if I'm officially part of the army, maybe I'll be allowed into an armory. And just in case I'm not, I'll just, you know, cut my way through anyway. Oh, yeah, this is the stuff. 10mm, 10mm pistol, ammunition, give it a search, and nothing on this occasion, but right away, never flipping hurts. Spot on. Right, so, you, my good man, are apparently the drill private soldier something. Sorry, I'm not quite, you know, clear on how armies work. Hello there. Hmm. Well, what do we have here? What in the holy name of... You are out of uniform, cadet. And with no uniform voucher, you will return in army fatigues and helmet, or you will not return at all! Okay, equip set of fatigues, equip an army helmet, search the area for a uniform voucher. 
Okay, but any chance can I actually have uh, one of those around here? No, but we can start learning what's going on here. The Herald supports Quinn Carter. This is the Charleston Herald. Fine, so this is the Charleston newspaper. We members of the Charleston Herald editorial board wish to publicly express our support for Herald reporter Quinn Carter and her continued employment at this periodical. The public cries for Miss Carter's resignation following her interview with the now former Senator Samuel Blackwell stand in stark contrast to our nation's values of freedom of the press and our duty to report crucial news to the public at large. Okay, Miss Carter's interview is fully protected under the laws of our great territory. And as such, there is no obligation to reveal the location of Senator Blackwell, regardless of the nature of the statements he made during said interview. Thus, we see no reason to offer any less than our total support of Ms. Carter. Alright, there's some form of scandal going on here. Interesting. And, time to do a tiny bit of hacking. So the illustrious asshats that we call leadership in our fine organisation have proclaimed from on high my role as senior drill instructor is no longer necessary. I've been informed these worthless maggots will instead be moulded into productive members of society by these tin can shit boxers they're calling Mr. Gutsies. Okay, beautiful. As instructed, I'll provide a monthly report of their futile efforts to my superiors. Okay. Intriguing. I have to admit, I didn't think I was going to be surprised by the results of the first training session with this robot they have the balls to call a drill sergeant, but I am. I was absolutely shocked at how much more completely incompetent these toasters were. <laughs> Beautiful. So, let's see what actually happened. First off, I'm pretty sure they can't go upstairs or any kind of steep incline. One of them referred to some old code and started landscaping the grounds. And what's worse, they were terrible. These things refuse to ever shut the hell up. If one of them calls me a commie-loving bastard one more time, I will forcibly disassemble it with my service rifle. And during live fire exercises, one of them accidentally killed Private Adams with about 17 stray rounds. So I guess you'd better train these shit heaps to fill out paperwork too. Excellent, so good start. Good starting point here. And they went on to nearly burn the barracks down the following month. Is it necessary for them to have bloody flamethrowers? I'm sure it flipping is. And against my strongest recommendation, I've been informed that the transition to fully automated Camp McClintock is now complete after only four months. In layman's terms, this means we're all completely flipped. Our best and brightest will be led into hell's fiery asshole by these metal death balls. The only saving grace in this colossal flip-up is that I won't be here when the shit hits the fan. I'm getting my wife and kids the hell out of here. Maybe apply for one of those vaults I've heard about. Something tells me we'll be needing them. Okay, intriguing. And I just opened a safe. Uh, where is said safe? Ah, there it is, in the wall. Shotgun shells. Oh, more shotguns. That's just what I need. And I could also do with a workbench, if you'd be so kind, because I need to break some stuff down. And here we go, uniform logs. So, uh, Lawrence Jackson, Alpha Barracks collected, Dara Archibald, Bravo, lost. Sentry covers voucher from the barracks. So I go to the barracks, I get the voucher, take that to the dispenser, get myself the uniform, I would assume. Or, I could just scout around and find my own stuff. Got myself a helmet right flipping here. Okay, so, that there is the central building. That there would appear to be a firing range. This here... Looks like it might be some form of barracks, yes. Oh, hang on, this is surprisingly fancy barracks. Okay, I'm guessing this isn't barracks. I'm guessing this here is training scenarios. Ooh, exciting. Okay, I like this place. I like this place quite a lot. Right, so this is not barracks. This is some form of figure out what the right thing to do is. Oh, we've got proper quests. I approve of proper quests. Right, now, where's the actual barracks got themselves then? That looks like barracks. And there we go. Uniform voucher. Spot on. So, new voucher. Shove that in there. And I've got myself... Ah, I do actually get dirty helmets and dirty fatigues regardless. That's a bit of a shame. I'll take purified water though. Never say no. Ooh. I'll take a typewriter too. Oh. I don't quite love typewriters as much as I love, you know, office fans. But... It's pretty close, you know. It's close than I'd like to admit. There we go. Now I'm ready for service. All right, sir. Yes, sir. I am ready to learn. Now that's what I like to see. All dolled up and ready to die for your country. There are three training exercises you'll need to complete. Marksmanship, agility, and patriotism. Our courses, like all things in the great territory of Appalachia, are automated. So you overpromoted mammals can do them as you see fit. 
Complete the courses to my satisfaction, and we'll get you moved on to the real test. Ooh, is that a war? And if it's a war, do I get like a special gun? Okay, I'm doing this. This is cool. So, out of the back door here, we've got ourselves... That'll be... Ooh, that'll be agility. Right, let's do ourselves some agility, because I have taken a few points of agility. So as a result of that, I can sprint longer. So hopefully, this should all be fine. So here we go. When given the signal, move through each obstacle, triggering all the buttons present. Overcome all the obstacles in order to complete the course. Two minutes or less, and then check in with the Master Sergeant in the admin building before starting. I have done that. Get on your dancing shoes, stand set. You're stepping onto my agility course. You are to clear each of the specified obstacles as fast as your mud kickers will carry it. Now, ready up. Okay. Where do I begin? Where do I go? Where do I go? Okay, round here, round here. Okay, go, go, go. And go, number two. Now, do you want me to go over? Where do you want me to go? Okay, you want me to go over here. Right, okay, go, 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 go. And then just jump over the top there. That was pretty agile. Right, through here. Crawl under this business. This is very radioactive, by the way. Hit that. Sprint over here. Now, be a little bit careful, because I'm guessing that if you fall off, the game's actually going to be fussy and demand that you actually do it again and do it properly. There we go. Take a jump over the end there. Right, bit more needs to be done yet. Kebab. There we go. Round over here. Round over here. Round over here. Button. Keep mode running. Here we go. So, button. Go up to the top, straight back down again, 57 seconds remaining, over to here, button, 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 come on, come on, I'm stuck on a bit of wood, that was not my fault, that was Bethesda physics, right, go, and up, and up, and... All right, so agility course complete. Beautiful. And give myself a big old pile of XP as I'm doing this too. Ooh, this is going to be worth a load of XP if every single one of these is its own unique quest that comes with an XP reward. I'm thrilled. Speaking of which, probably time to level up. So I'll take agility. I'll just assume it's going to be agility for now because I am interested in gun runner. That would be nice. But pack in light. Pistols down 25% in terms of weight. Uh, fine. Good result. I can do without that. Makeshift weapons. So melee 10% slower breaking and this is upgradable. So I could start making better and better melee stuff. EMT, plays your revive, come back with health regen 15 seconds. Nice if you want to be a support class. Not so much for me. Everything in endurance is garbage. Rifleman wouldn't be the worst thing in the world and... Okay, crack shot. 10% more range, more actually when sighted. I can do without that, to be honest. I'm very tempted just to take Pat Rat, just because. Though, actually, I think if I want to do that, I'd need to take an extra point of strength. And I wouldn't mind the extra weight anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Pack Rat 2. Let's get that done. So, take that, and I'm assuming it's going to immediately prompt me to. Yep, upgrade. So, upgrade that. Apply that. Be flipping beautiful. Now, time for the one I'm probably going to be, you know, less good at. The shooting range. And, ooh, ammo vending machine. Okay, this is of interest. It does take, it takes caps. Why would it take caps? That makes no sense. Still, nice that it's there. And we've got ourselves, uh, yeah, nice little range. Okay, who do I chat to? Do I chat to you? No, I don't bother chatting to you. I just chat to this here terminal. Right, let's just give it a go here. Now, what am I shooting? Time to let slice begins. Yep. Okay, one. And two. And three. And four. And you know what? The reflex sight makes this quite manageable. Probably good time for a reload over here. 15 seconds to go. And a one. 
and a two, and that wasn't good enough. Job done. Nice. 25.65 seconds. All right, and this, this is the one I'm most interested in. We've got ourselves some form of patriotism exam. Jimmy, Toffa, and Tuanjun have been accused of supporting collective action, a gateway drug to communism. Talk to the suspected traitors, search their rooms, and collect evidence to uncover the budding communist. So, collect evidence of which boy is the budding communist. Note, all cadets must check in. Okay. Alright, so. Room number one here. Let's just have a little look-see. Alarm clock. Dresser's empty. Nice, clean, well-made bed. Crack open that. Cigarettes. Newsboy cap. Alright. Books, but not too many. You know what they say about books? Communist, all of them. I can't believe mom and dad maybe get this job at the soda counter. You have to learn the value of hard work, son. Fooey! Jerry's parents just gave him a car when he turned 16. Well, I'll show them all. I'm gonna work so hard, I'll own this counter someday. Okay, doesn't sound desperately communist so far. Though then again... He did just suggest that he wasn't happy about the fact that someone else was given something, and he wasn't. Intriguing. Hello there, Topher. My ancestors came over on the Mayflower. Alright, anything else you've got to say? I work at my neighborhood soda counter, though I'd love a raise. A raise? Hmm. Now, where'd my diary get to? Yes, I just stole that, actually. That's about all I gotta say on the subject. Okay, some slight, slight communist leanings. Nothing too dangerous, though. Okay, potentially off his face on drugs. Could be very communist, in fact. Drinks coffee. Not that communist. Two beds for only one person. Very suspiciously communist, actually. Now, Jimmy's diary. Let's see what Jimmy has to say. Dear diary, today at school we learned about Franklin Roosevelt, FDR, to his chums he'd probably say. He did so much to help the people of this country when they were having hard times. He used the government to try and improve people's lives. Ooh, that's a bit suspicious, Jimmy. And there's a second page too, what a stand-up guy. Right, so he admires politicians who try and redistribute wealth to the poor, does he? Alright, Jimmy, I'm not sure about you at all. Now, Jimmy's terminal requires a key. My favourite holiday? Well, that'd have to be the 4th of July! Okay, good answer. Starting to make amends here. Well, yeah, my pop's in the union. Why do you ask? Oh, union connections. My terminal keeps me company while pop is at the mine. I needed a new password, so I use the initials of someone I admire a lot. FDR, got it. So, let's see what- ooh. Saw something in the woods. Was in the woods looking for something to eat until Pop got home with dinner when I saw a big creature. It was all pale and muscular and it didn't have a head. I named it Morton, but it didn't come when I called it. It just started running off. I followed after it but couldn't keep up. I wonder where Morton's finding so much food to get so big. Right, that sounds like a different cryptid. That sounds like the Grafton monster. Okay, this is very, very interesting. And Pop was coughing again. Pop's been coughing like crazy the past couple of weeks, but the mind boss says he's got to work. I'm really worried about him. Mitchell said his pop's been suffering from the same thing. No more. Today I'm going to call up my friends and we're going to get all our pops to all take the day off together. And maybe the day after that, and maybe the day after that too. We'll show those mind bosses that they can't boss us around. The workers ain't just the points in their capitalist schemes. Throw off your shackles. You have nothing to lose but your minds, I suppose. Right. And sure, that seems pretty communist, but just in case... Let's just have a chat with the last guy over here. This area is way different from San Francisco. The winters are so cold. All right, not particularly communist. This country gave my family a fresh start. All right, that sounds good as well. Someday, I'm going to own my own car. Or two. Welcome to America, son. So it's time to accuse Jimmy, who most definitely sounds like a communist. Impressive work, cadet. Ooh, 
Ooh, soldiering. Right, where's the live fire business? Ooh, hello there. I'm going to say hi. Right, through this gateway over here, looks like we've got ourselves, yeah, a little live fire area out of the way. So, uh, potentially, we're going to need to actually murder a few gutsies or whatnot, because we have certainly have been told that they were able to murder, yeah, the odd person. That's certainly true. What have we got here? So, don't do this without... Ooh, don't do this without support. La-dee-da. So, eliminate the communist menace. Candidates must complete their marksmanship agility. Okay, before we begin, if the game's actually recommending don't do this without friends, let's get something decent out here. It's time for the shotgun. Let's get this shotgun out. Beautiful. This should do the job. Watch out, Cadet. I haven't seen that much red since old Cookie tripped into the meat grinder. Cut those commies down. Right, cut some commies down. Where are the commies? Where are they? I don't see them right now. They're, well, they're shooting at me. So they're definitely... Hello! Right, so you're Comrade Ibot, are you? Commies. Oh, they're actually... They're literally red. That's adorable. Right, grenades. Grenades over there. Right. That will do a bit of damage. Okay, there's plenty coming in from that direction. Good chance to reload. These are just baseball grenades. That just bounced straight off that thing. Still, killed one of them. There we go. And boom. You know what? Use you as cover from your own friend. Boom. Nice. Nothing too dangerous so far. How are we doing? That's wave one. There's got to be more yet. Though I'll take a bunch of scrap and whatnot. Most definitely. Oh, hang on. I see a whole cluster of them there. This is just the right spot for grenades. Yeah, there we go. And we'll just put another grenade right on you bastards. That should do some good work right there. You're almost dead. Yeah, there we go. Nearly on the other side. Drop a stem and dig in. It's about to get bumpy. All right, one more to go. One more to flip and go. They're probably coming from that direction, aren't they? Yeah, they haven't come from that direction yet. Figured so. Right, get a grenade right there. And more coming from over there too. That should be a well-placed grenade. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, communist trooper level 22. No, no, no. Not him. Not him. This one. Uh-oh. 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 This is less good. I can take him. But I should back off for the time being. Back off. He's going to be faster than the others because they're just protectrons. Reload. Let him come to me. Okay, this is all fine. Yeah, okay. Oh, hang on. You're just the fast one, are you? You're just comrade, I bought. You're not a problem at all. Right, where's the rest of them? Because that one's already bad. Enough. That's going to be him. That's going to be him right there. Okay, let's get the... Where are you? Excuse me. Yeah, let's just boost that damage. Boom. Boom. Okay, level 22. Not kidding around, though. I'll take all of that, thank you. Now hide around the back. How many are left? Is it just you two? Because I think we can handle two of you. No problem at all. Last flipping one. Whew, okay. You had me worried there for a minute. Game. But I think we're all right, actually. Down you go. Whew. All right. I'm ready for active deployment, sir. Sir, it has been a pleasure to serve under you. But I am ready to go and kick some commie ass. My senses tell me you're not nearly as dead as I expected. Impressive, cadet. Or should I say, private. You are now an official member of the United States Army. Get out there and do us proud, soldier. You are dismissed. Oh, marvelous. And that gets me straight up to level 10. So back to basics complete. I get to level 10, which is, well, hopefully a perk card pack. Sometimes it gets delayed to the next level. Oh, this is, wow. You get like over a thousand XP for doing these little mini quests. This is a great place to come in the early game. So, new pack. We've got ourselves. Pharmacist. Can do. Concentrated fire. Which I've already got level three of, so that's interesting. And a shiny packing light. Okay, and Peanut asked the grape out on a date. Grape says, you're nuts. Okay, not the best one, not the worst. Now, I'm kind of surprised Concentrated Fire's shown up because I've already got Concentrated Fire up to rank 3. So it can't be improved anymore. So what do I actually do with it in that case? And yeah, let's actually take ourselves Agility because I'll probably be wanting to take Gunrunner. 
Or maybe I just want you want to take pack and light at this point. I might want to do that too. Right. Oh yes, of course. Level 10 is the level when everything becomes available, including demo expert, which is unquestionably a good idea. Though... Demo 2 has lost the ability to give you, yeah, the little kind of targeting reticle thing. I assume that's moved somewhere else. Logically, that would have stayed with Perception. Anything else that's new? Yeah, natural resistance, garbage, skeet shooter. Ah, yes, of course. Shotgun specialization has started to become a thing, which is not that bad at all. Now, what do I want to do here? Ooh, tough. Yeah, you know what? I just kind of want Gunrunner. Now... What I'm more curious about is, what do I do with you at this point? Because I physically can't level you up. So, yeah, what do you do with a card that you've already got max level? What's the point of it? I suppose I could share it. Like, I guess, if I wanted to, like, share just rank 1 with someone else. But it strikes me as weird that you can get duplicates once a card's already fully upgraded. At that point, it really should be taken out of the pool. But, okay... What else have I got here that might be of interest? Uh, pharmacist. Oh, yes, of course. Gunrunner, the whole thing I actually wanted to do. And packing lights. I can do without that, even though it's nice and shiny. So, 10% more running speed with that. I've got pharmacist. I've got inspirational happy camper. Green thumb I can do without for the time being. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that state of affairs. And again, not a single endurance. I just haven't drawn one Endurance out of the deck yet. It's just, yeah, weird bad luck there. Is there actual level 10 armor? Yes, there is. And it's quite a bit better, actually. Yes. Okay, I might want to go over to level 10 armor. And also, I bought Helmet. But you actually would need an Assaultron circuit board for that. Which is weird, because it's, you know, not an Assaultron. But apparently you do. Okay. I'm willing to basically just craft myself some level 10 armor. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, as I decide to just take a quick victory pose outside Camp McClintock, I'd say that's probably enough for now. Sorry, we didn't actually get to that cryptid hunt in the end, but we have got ourselves a brand new lead. A brand new lead because we found a terminal entry saying that, yeah, the Grafton monster might just be around in this part of the world together with yeah the flatwoods monster potentially being down at the lake so next time the cryptid hunt begins in earnest ladies and gentlemen but in the meantime i've been john this has been many a true nerd and this has been fallout 76 thank you very much and goodbye ah we have got a gate key here and then we have got us i've made a mistake i've made a mistake i've made a mistake i've made a mistake this is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.